untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Alright, pack one, pick one, who Open Extus, Auric Overlord. This card's pretty busted. Probably not gonna end up splashing Awaken the Blood Avatar, but Extus by itself is amazing, so that's gonna be our pick, but we can take a look at the rest of the pack just in case. There's nothing too exciting. Can maybe hope to wield the Spiteful Squad, which is decent too. Second pack, Detention Vortex is pretty bad, but we do have some other options. Rise of Extus seems quite good, perfect alongside Extus, Auric Overlord, and usually not too difficult to pick up some Inkling Summonings to go with it and put in our sideboard. There's some other okay cards here, Mage Duel, potential one mana fight spell, the Blood Researcher in Black Green, Opt, just a nice one mana cantrip to enable Magecraft. And then there's some nice uh, dual lands, but we'll take Rise of Extus. And stay on theme. Third pick. Got a couple options. Don't think Exhilarating Elocution is necessarily where we want to be, unless our deck ends up super aggressive. Although it is good with Double Strike, I suppose. I do like Hunt for Specimens as a 2-mana learn card. Potential way to enable Magecraft twice for Extus if we get enough lessons. Uh, could make a similar argument for Revitalize, I suppose, but I think this has more upside. And then there's also the Access Tunnel, which could be nice in a black-white deck, giving our Double Striker the ability to attack unblocked could be nice. So. Access Tunnel could also have quite a bit of upside, but at the same time, a colorless land in a deck that needs to cast all these double black and white cards on curve can be pretty rough. So I'll go with the Hunt for Specimens for now. And then fourth pick. Uh, I do like Comet Professor, just a nice 4 mana flyer, pump up something else or itself. There's Leech Fanatic as a fine 2-drop, and Mage Hunter as another okay 4-drop. I think I'm liking the flyer here. And next up... Lash of Malice, 1-mana removal spell, or potential pump spell. It can even target our own Extus, turn it into a 4-power double striker. So there are situations where you can use it as a pump spell instead but for the most part, killing two toughness creatures seems fine. And perfect, Inkling Summoning, although it's in the same pack as some other good black and white cards. There's another Combat Professor, but picking up enough Inkling Summonings is important. We already have two cards that let us learn, so we want to end up with as many Inkling Summonings as we can get, pretty much. So I think I still take it over Professor, even though I would happily have a second one. Seventh pick. That's a pretty late rip apart. So maybe Red-White is wide open here. Could also take Introduction to Annihilation, and uh, that's another reasonable lesson to have in the sideboard. But we might be able to splash a bit of red, since it also helps with our Blood Avatar, you never know. So, we'll take the rip apart. Don't know if we're splashing it yet, but it seems better than speculating on introduction. Then eighth pick. There's another elocution. Not a priority. Can take my introduction to Annihilation now, I suppose. Or we could take one of the red cards. Not a huge fan of the Dusk Mage. Doesn't seem very good. Yeah, we'll take the introduction. So we've got two lessons already. So could use some more 2 and 3 drops to fill out the curve. Some more removal, potentially. 
Crushing Disappointment versus Expanded Anatomy. There's also Divine Gambits, which can have its moments, usually only great in a late game. I will maybe take the Disappointment here. It's not an amazing card, but we do have a bit of life gain here and there to offset the life loss. Could also take a campus guy to maybe help us splash reds. I could see that. Either way, they're both pretty low priority cards. I will probably pick up another disappointment. Alright, so do we want a Witherbloom campus for some reason? Maybe help us splash a green card? Or do we want the archway for the red splash? We'll go with archway. And that's access tunnel on the wheel. Especially if we're going to splash reds, it's a little iffy. Could take revitalize as a two-mana cantrip. Probably don't want to splash thrilling discovery. So between access tunnel and revitalize. Hmm. I guess we'll try the access tunnel. If we're splashing red, I'm probably not going to play it. If we don't end up splashing red, I could see adding it to the deck. Do we have any synergy with the familiar? I guess it works with Rise of Extus. This exiles. Eh, I'll still take the lesson instead. And then maybe we'll want a two drop in if we end up short. So first pack started out pretty well for us with Extus and Rise of Extus. The rest of the pack hasn't been too exciting. But we'll see. Unwilling ingredients. Find one drop. And another Ageless Guardian in case we need it. Ooh, what a nice pack for us. Open Sparring Regimen, very powerful, rare. Great with small evasive creatures, especially. And lets us learn when it enters a battlefield, so great with all our lessons that we picked up so far. And then we can hope to wheel either the Laureates or the Shield Mage as well. If we ever get this going with our uh, Extus here, that would be nice too. Alright, another very Silver Quill themed pack. There's a Bookworm as well, fun build around card. We're looking at Apprentice, which is good, not great. Shield Mage, also good, not great. And then Spiteful Squad, which, especially if we're in a more defensive deck, could be pretty nice. Looking at our curve, I think we probably might prioritize the Apprentice, just because it's easier to pick up good expensive cards than good 2-drops. And while this isn't amazing and is one of the weaker Apprentices, it's still pretty good for a 2-drop. And then... We can uh, hope to get Shield Mage or Squad a little bit later. And then... No great Silver Quill cards here, sadly. A lot of good green. Alchemists, Symmetrists, Mage Duel. So this pack is stacked for green. I could take an Expel, which is okay. It's better in defensive decks. But can still be nice if we're racing with flying creatures, since that's still one way we can attack and then expel the opponent's large attacker on the way back. So do want more creatures, especially more inkling summonings would be nice, more ways to learn. Alright, decent 2-drop here with Silver Quill Silencer again. This is probably going to be better in Constructed than Limited, but it's still okay. Works well against opposing Lessons, as you'll see those before the opponent can cast them. Then there's a card draw spell here. Better if we have lots of 1-1 one -one tokens. Good with ingredients, hunt for specimens, but not great outside of those. Yeah, we'll still take the Silencer. 
green just keeps on flowing here in this direction. But we do have a Witherbloom Pledge Mage. Which seems fine. 5-5 five, five with a bit of upside. Shouldn't be too difficult to cast. I think it's probably too late to try and splash green at this point. Still not sure if I'm splashing the red, but we haven't seen any great red cards worth splashing. Agonizing Remorse is fine, 2 mana discard spell. Could also take a Guiding Voice as a 1 mana sorcery that lets us learn. Kind of like the Guiding Voice here over Remorse. Gives us two ways to potentially enable our uh, Magecraft synergies as well. Seventh pick, Pledge Mage looks good. Plenty of ways to give this flying and potentially lifelink in the same turn, so we can attack with a 3-1 flying lifelink. Doesn't look like a great star pupil deck. And I'll take a spirit summoning as another lesson we can cast. Stone Rise Spirits. Doesn't seem amazing here. Alright, we wield both the Laureates and the Shield Mage. I think we want the Laureates. There's also Reduced to Memory, which is nice to have a removal spell to search up. But I think we want a few more creatures, especially evasive ones. Alright, and we wield both a Spiteful Squad and the Shield Mage. So, Silver Quill seems open. Just had a few packs without too many powerful Silver Quill cards. Looking at the curve here, I think we want a Spiteful Squad over the Shield Mage. But uh, they would both be fine additions. And nothing here that we really want. So I don't think we're splashing red at this point. And that does mean I get to play Access Tunnel, which is another nice finisher. So these can go. And then as far as lessons, we have Inkling Summoning, Spirit Summoning, Introduction to Prophecy, and our Introduction to Annihilation. So we've got a few. And then in order to learn, we've got our Guiding Voice, Hunt for Specimens, Sparring Regimen, and uh, the Rise of Extus. This doesn't matter. And then Essence Infusion, probably not going to make the cut. Alright. So last pack, hopefully it's a good one. And yeah, nice uncommon here with Professor of Symbology. Let's us learn. Great value card. Dueling Coach would be a nice one to wheel as well. A couple of good two drops with a Leech Fanatic, Cram Session. But definitely take the Professor here. Ooh. Dramatic Finale. Creature tokens get plus one plus one. And if one of our creatures ends up dying, we get a 2 1 Inkling that gets plus one plus one. I mean, I would love an Inkling Summoning 2 here. There's another Combat Professor, Spectre, nice mana sink. So there's a lot of good cards for us, but I don't think I'm passing up on Dramatic Finale. That does mean I might have to cut Access Tunnel, which doesn't let me cast it, but we'll decide that during deck building. And then third pick. Another Combat Professor seems good. Stadium is kind of a glorified mana rock. Doesn't seem very good. Another ingredient would be fine. Don't think we're an elocution deck. Fourth pick. Maybe we want the rescuer. Gets back a creature. Lumimancer can have its moments. But it usually only attacks once or twice. 
which you know for one drop isn't bad but other times we're gonna struggle to get any damage with it I think the rescuer is gonna be where we want to be instead and we keep opening these allocutions instead of better multicolor cards we have Pledge Mage, Leech Fanatic, as our options. I guess uh, Leech Fanatic here. Could use an extra two. And then six pick, another exhilarating allocution. Probably could have had like six of those by now. So instead, I'm liking the eye twitch. When it dies, we get to learn. And it's also a flyer to synergize with our laureates. Good with our sparring regiment and double combat professor. Especially if we take the eye twitch, this card would go up in value a little bit. Also synergistic with our dramatic finale if we can sacrifice our own creatures. But still liking the eye twitch here. And... Now I might want to take the Reduce to Memory, now that we picked up a few more cards to learn with. Although we have to be careful that we end up with enough playables, because a lot of these cards in our deck are sideboard cards. Alright, we wield Spectre of the Fence, that's nice. Definitely gonna make the cuts. And another Leech Fanatic, Cram Session, Expanded Anatomy. So as far as lessons, we have five. This is a close call. Might want the expanded anatomy. It's close with the cram session. If it was a slightly better two mana learn card, I would maybe take that like another hunt for specimens. All right, we wield Spectre and Comet Professor, both pretty nice. There's also Study Break, which would definitely make the deck. I think we take another Professor. And another Unwilling Ingredients, fine. And we wield Lumimancer and Elocution. Still don't think we're playing it. Any chance we want Archivists? Maybe. All right, we got another one. That's fine. Another ingredient. Sadly, didn't get the uh, sacrifice instant, which would have been pretty nice in the end, but... All right, let's take a look here. So, that's out. So we have a couple lessons. Would have liked a second inkling summoning, but... That card's in pretty high demand. So, six lessons. And then we have uh, five, six ways to learn. Yeah, that works out. I think we can play all of those. And then put these in the sideboard. So, we've got removal spells, two, three mana creatures, a pump spell, a draw spell, and then a five mana. Expensive removal spell, too. So we've got 43 cards, need to make three cuts. And then we also have to decide if we want to play Access Tunnel. Archivists, not great. Can probably cut that one. Then in terms of removal, we've got Lash of Malice. We've got Expel. And then, yeah, that's about it. We've got our Rise of Exodus, so we're pretty light on removal. Although we do have two in the sideboard, we can also search up with our various learn cards. Four drops are pretty stacked, but they're all quite good. Maybe still have to cut one of them. I like the Rescuer, even though it doesn't get back our four drops. Pledge Mage is fine. Can probably cut at least one ingredient. 
And then which four drop do we let go here? I'm gonna wanna play Extus. Finale seems good, especially with these small one drop psych ingredients and eye twitch. And then Professor is another way of pumping up our small evasive creatures so they can get an extra damage right away. Spiteful Squad is good with the regimen, that's true. You can pick up extra counters and then move those around. But I also want Spectre as a mana sink. So maybe we shave one combat professor here. Could see that. And then to access tunnel or not to access tunnel. We do have a lot of evasion already. We've got Pledge Mage that can gain flying, Laureates, double combat professor, Spectre. So it's not like we're lacking evasion. Of course, this also gets us past opposing flyers. The major strike against this is it doesn't help us cast Dramatic Finale on curve. So I feel like the access tunnel needs to go. And then slightly more black than white. That checks out. We have a couple black one drops. So 9-8. Seems acceptable. Right, let's give this a try. All right, we're on the play. Pretty land heavy draw, but I think we still keep. We do have a way to spend our mana with the ingredients. And if we pick up any card that lets us learn, we'll have ways to spend our mana too. Next turn, play a Spiteful Squad. Alright. It's gonna be a Brackish Trudge. This opponent's got more life gain synergy. Comet Professor is interesting. Could still play the squad first. And then turn 5, we get to double spell, because I don't have two swamps at the moment, so I might not be able to double spell squad plus twitch. So squad might be the play here. And this I'm fine trading off. Put the counters on probably ingredients. Yeah, if we can give it a squad vigilance, kind of force the opponent to trade off. It's gonna be dueling coach, pumping apprentice, attacks with both. Now I could just take seven and then next turn give squad vigilance. That seems kind of neat. And then probably still put the counters on ingredient. Could have played Eye Twitch first, so we could have put the counters there. But I'm happy chum blocking with Eye Twitch. So if we're diversifying, I think counters on ingredients makes sense. And this I'm happy to chump with. And then we can start thinking about what to potentially learn. Um, any of our summonings are okay. Could get one of our removal spells or even the plus two plus two counters. Opponent has their own summoning attacks. So I can put the counter on Laureate itself, so the attacks pass to 2-1. So let's see, can we 
kill our opponents. I don't think we quite can. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, no. Um, still like this. And then maybe just our own inkling summoning so we can double spell. Anatomy also gives vigilance, so that would let us attack and keep something back. Kind of like the inkling summoning. It gives us a blocker that also synergizes with the laureates. And then now, can attack with all. What do we give vigilance? The ingredients, I think. All right, let's see what they've got. Spirits can give something else flying. It's gonna pass another combat professor. Has to be pretty great here. They might have an expel to maybe exile a tapped creature, but now Comet Professor giving Vigilance also gets around it. So Ingredient by itself is already lethal. So we don't need to pump that up. Laureate's already lethal. So one of them we can pump Professor. And the other one I think I like pumping the Fanatic. And then I don't know if I'm attacking with the 2-1. We'll see here. So let's say I attack with everyone, then opponents probably exiles my ingredients. I guess that's a way to play around expel had we given this vigilance. So let's say they expel the ingredients, then we still have four attackers, opponents got four blockers, although three of ours fly, so I think attack with all is fine. Gonna be an umbral juke to make it 2-1. Alright, that actually plays out pretty well for them. Since now they have a 3-1 that can potentially trade, but let's see. Yeah, I guess my opponent is still one blocker short because of the menace on the ingredient. The combat professor is putting in a lot of work. On the play, fine hands. Hopefully pick up a 3-drop. At least next turn we'll have a 3-power Vigilance Fanatic. have a lot of lands. So hopefully we don't draw any more. Put and bounces our fanatic. So are they playing more than two colors? Ariel's the three one. That one's kind of awkward to Kill with a rise since we need to pay two extra mana. So I don't think we offer the trade here.
Pledge Mage, on the other hand, we can exile. That's an aggressive attack. Now that we drew a rescuer, I kind of like just trading, or at least offering the trade. And then, don't think this matters too much. Do we want an extra flyer? Anatomy could help our professor get past 3-1. Uh, or we can just make another 2-1 flyer. Yeah, that seems slightly better. One's gonna double spell. Yep. So yeah, they managed to fill their graveyard quickly with all these curates and cantrips. Those are large. So we're in a bit of trouble. So Professor can hit for three, but we're going to have to start jumping pretty soon. And my turn's not particularly mana efficient. I guess I could jump attack with a Fanatic, just so I can replay it and gain three life. Seems kind of mediocre. Yeah, I wish I still had my Rise of Exodus to answer one of these. Introduction to Prophecy. And then we can pump the Inkling token, attack. Ooh. Finally would have been nice a turn ago. I could still play it here. And then what's my play? Professor attacks, gives him self-vigilance. Opponent probably just takes the damage. And I'm dead if they can bounce my professor, but there's not too many bounce spells. Otherwise I could professor pump inkling, attack with both. Opponent probably trades for professor, I play rescuer, get back my 2-2. Two -two. But I'm already probably chomping on the ground. Finally might be better here. Alright, so we're dead if they remove my inkling. Alright. Actually, it would have been kind of close if we survived another turn, because then the rescuer getting back my two drop means two more creatures that generate inklings, so we could have chumped and then try and take over in the air with our flyers, but yeah, we kind of drew our cards in an awkward order there where we spent some turns not being very mana efficient. We're on the draw. Hand seems fine. Can cast a 1-drop and a 2-drop. Removal if we draw a third land. Any land will do.
opponent also black whites. What do we name with a silencer? I think I named Inkling Summoning, because they're so likely to have one in the sideboard, although then they're just not going to search it up. Could name Lash of Malice as a removal spell that can kill Silencer, although they're not guaranteed to have it. I think I still go for Inkling Summoning. Do have some expensive cards in hand. All right, we drew our own Lash of Malice. That works. So really, one little lance now for a Combat Professor can start pumping the Eye Twitch. Oh, that was unexpected, to say the least. So if we attack, would they trade? Probably. Do we want them to trade is a question. We'll just keep the silencer back for now. Kind of want them to start turning their creatures sideways. This is one of the situations where Expel's not very good since we're the aggressor and we want them to tap their creatures. Although, as soon as we enable Magecraft, we can start flying over. Professor gives us a flying threat. So that's going to force them to potentially start racing. I imagine they'll take the Comet Professor. So if they want to put the counter on the Professor, I guess taking Expel makes more sense, but... Not so sure that they're winning the race, unless they've got a fight spell too here. Another archway. Alright, so sadly just eye twitch attacking. Oh wow. That's unexpected. Hoffrey Ghostforge. Opponent's deck is all over the place. Well, I'm gonna try and close out the game quickly. Hoping for a way to give this flying. So chances of them having an inkling summoning is a lot lower now. Take five, I think. It's also an argument for jumping with Eye Twitch to be able to find a lesson. Spiteful Squad's okay. So now Professor pumps himself. Point probably chumps. But we can play squad, which can block. Right, I guess they get their eye twitch back as well. Well, we need to get past it at some point. I need double whites or a fifth land before I twitch turns into a removal spell for Hoffrey. Could also jump with I twitch, get a removal spell, and then hope to draw land next turn. If I get the introduction to annihilation, any land will do. If I get the three mana one, I need a second planes. Yeah, probably want to just jump here. And then I think we go for uh, Annihilation. They get to draw a card as opposed to get a 3-2. I 
and they can play a big summoning. Well, that card's not bad. Sadly, it's not a land. So Professor pumps himself. Opponent gets to learn again. Cramps start from scratch. Yeah, their eye twitch got a lot of value, that's for sure. So they can kill my... Oh, wow. Opponents got their own Exodus, and now they get to get back their eye twitch, kill my Plaid Mage, and replay eye twitch. That's pretty gross. Still no land, this hurts. How many more lessons do they have? Do I even want to attack with a professor? Get back I Twitch. And then I could get Anatomy to put more counters on my Overlord, so we can actually block. Or I can Prophecy to help me hit my land drops to finally get rid of Ghost Forge. And at least we're exiling it so they can't get it back with Extus. Think we need to introduction here. Alright, I'll keep both, draw the swamp first so we can play Eye Twitch. And then we've got our own value engine here. Then we can exile Hoffrey and we can exile something with Annihilation. Can use the Rise first so they don't draw the card. Well, I can keep jumping with Eye Twitch. And Spiteful Squad can block the Fractal since that doesn't come back with Hoffrey at least. And where do we put the counters? Extus again, I think. And then... Could also get to reduce to memory as another removal spell. Sure. So this turn, I can play the Pledge Mage, plus reduce to memory. Start by exiling Hoffrey. Seems good. Get back Eye Twitch. Now I could also attack with Extus, but if they block with Eye Twitch and have their own like introduction to Annihilation, I think we wait. And then I'm not even gonna attack with Professor. Like now we're the ones that have the value engine going. Don't want my opponent jumping with Eye Twitch, getting it back. Yeah, Axis seems pretty overpowered. 
especially with something like eye twitch. No attacks. Exile. Exile. Eliminates my Plunge Mage, that's fine. And we'll get Inkling Summoning, I think. Alright, so we finally dealt with our value cards, and we still have an Exodus in play. Now the question is whether we want to attack into the Eye Twitch or not, or if we're gonna exile it so they can't learn and potentially find removal out of the sideboard. I think it's reasonable to exile the Eye Twitch because it doesn't trigger when it gets exiled. So we'll play it slow. Hopefully they don't have too many more bombs besides Axis and Hoffrey. Spiteful squads, fine. Don't really care about that too much. So this is pretty drastic, but I think it's reasonable. Get back our Pledge Mage. Opponent gets to draw. It's gonna scry first. And then now let's see. What do we want to give Vigilance? Could also consider attacking with one of my smaller ground creatures and pumping those up. Like if I pump this, it can attack past the Professor, and if it trades, I just get it back with Extus. Question is, can Extus start attacking? Let's say my opponent blocks with everyone. Five first strike means Kill squad, spirit, this. And then they only have six power, so they can actually block extra, so I can attack with it. Don't have to give it vigilance. And then I think I like bumping silencer. Two, three, four, five, six power. We'll keep the eye twitch on defense for the time being. Then kind of expect them to just trade their campus guide with a silencer, maybe. And then summoning can get back my silencer. And we can name Poet if they don't play it here. And I'm okay with a couple trades. Alright. So sadly, Axis is gone, but provided a lot of value here, so I think we're still okay. And then we can search Summoning or Anatomy. We have 8 mana next turn. Um, let's go with the summoning. Could go double 3 drop plus 2 drop, but they don't line up especially well here.
opponent goes digging. Well, this has been a pretty epic game. Opponent passes. And a sparring regiment to draw. So let's say I regiment, get my anatomy. I can give my professor four additional power total, so one short of lethal. Doesn't seem necessary. Just want to add more stuff to the board. So pledge mage plus summoning seems fine. Could also play an extra creature instead of a token. This gains me one life, which might matter. So we'll go with a life gain here. Alright, one card in hand. What's it gonna be? A Leyline Invocation making an 11-11 Fractal. That's not gonna cut it, so... Sparring Regimen by itself would be enough, but we can get Expanded Anatomy on top. Sweet. Well, that was definitely a very fun game overall. Managed to survive Hoffrey. And then we both got to have our fun with Eye Twitch and our uh, Extus. Alright, we're on the play. This might be a draw where we use a draw discard effect or discard draw effect on Hunt to hit our land drops. Because if we do, this hand seems quite powerful. Okay, maybe discard Rise as an expensive card. So it's high risk to keep, but. I think the extra discard draw makes it keepable. And of course if we pick up a planes we can make a different play with our hunt. Alright, so I think we still discard rise. I mean, we could also go for introductions, that way if we draw a swamp, I still get to dig for my white mana. But if we don't find a third land at all, we're in trouble. Alright. So far so good. Can maybe play Regimen next turn. So we can Silencer plus Ingredients. Not sure what to name with Silencer since they haven't searched anything up. So don't really have a great guess. So I think Regimen for now is fine. And then probably grab an Inkling Summoning. Or I can go for Prophecy to hit our land drops, but we've got stuff to do with our mana, so I'm not too concerned. And with Regimen we also just want as many creatures as possible, evasive ones like Ingredient and Summoning are especially valuable. Alright, they had a Lash of Malice, would have killed Silencer too. Blood Researcher and Professor. So we can go Professor plus Ingredient and hold on to the Silencer for now. Or Silencer since that's easier to potentially trade off with the Researcher. Although it does have Menace. And then Professor might want to discard, although Expel is a clean answer for the Blood Researcher. So I could Professor discard Professor, or we can just grab one of our many lessons. 
It's an interesting spot. Could also discard Ingredient, but I want to double spell with it this turn. So if I don't draw planes, it's not as good. Could also discard Silencer. Or I could discard Summoning. I think we'll go with uh, Prophecy here. Because I want to be left with an extra creature, so it's more likely we get to leverage our regimen. And I'll just take three. Pledge Mage could be an issue. This ingredient can grow. Could just play Inkling Summoning, which can trade for a Pledge Mage. And then if they give it Life Link, I can trade for Symbology. And then expel the researcher. Could play my own pledge mage first to then trigger magecraft. That doesn't seem necessary. Also untaps it, so that's pretty cool. Maybe a pump spell and give it life link. Sure. So probably wanna expel the researcher. Ooh. Nice two mana five four on top here. This can still attack. Maybe keep my expel up at instant speed. Could also attack with the Inkling. Think I'd rather keep growing the menace creature. Yeah, I guess we can wait on the expel. Elites, not a very good one. So, I think we expel the Researcher, and then block Inkling on Pledge Mage, and then next turn this can become a 4-4 four four to trade for the Biogroff. Seems reasonable. Lash, so they can put a counter there. Yeah, that happens. Next turn they can start doubling the counters. Land is good. So attack, have a 4-4. Four, four. Play Silencer, play Pledge Mage. And then we'll have to find a removal spell for elites, and then we should be stable. What to name with the silencer is a question now. Serpent's black green, pretty aggressive. Double lash of malice, a bit of a life gain theme. Mage Duel makes sense, that's kind of a common removal spell in green. Could name the black removal spell. Although, yeah, maybe the black removal spell. It's Mage Hunter's Onslaught. So 
So the elites can double the number of plus one plus one counters. I mean, I'm I'm happy just trading the board here, or we can just take it. This will turn into a four four. Next turn, it threatens to become a six six. And maybe Introduction to Prophecy can find an answer. And I get to maybe hit with a flying or with a life linking pledge mage. I think we trade the board still. Block like this to force them to pump. Finale would have been nice a bit earlier, but that's okay. Probably just Professor and then take a hit for a turn. And then we can start growing the Professor to block the Pledge Mage. And that's fine. Not planning to trade just yet. Alright, feeling a bit better now. At 5, so we're not dead to a single removal spell, plus we would get a token anyway. And now we can stabilize and hopefully take over. So... I can introduction or I can just play squad and hold my introduction for next turn. Yeah, Sparring Regimen has carried us a lot here. I twitch right on time. Don't need lines anymore. Gets a removal spell. And then give Professor Vigilance counter on the squad. This also synergizes nicely. Maybe should have played Twitch before attackers, just so if they did have a way to kill this, I get to move the counters and diversify a bit better, but I think we'll be just fine. Alright, GG's. We did it. Our first draft. We went seven wins with the help of some pretty nice Silver Quill rares. Let's claim our prize and crack some packs. Inquisition of Kozilek, nice for constructed. Pack one, pick one. Probably go for the Vanishing Verse. Tendrils of Agony, not really for limited. Uh, tempted by the Auric, I would be tempted to take here, even though it's triple blue, so not the easiest to cast. But the fact that we can gain control of large tokens makes this a lot better than it might seem at first glance. A Lightning Helix off the top. Awesome card for limited too. So yeah, I think I would uh, take the helix here. Fervent Mastery. This one's uh, not very good. We do have, let's see. Yeah, this pack's kind of weak. Vortex Runner can be good in the blue-green ramp archetype. Pledge Mage is okay, as we've seen in our draft, can be pretty decent. But, uh... I would mulligan that pack.
a growth spiral, nice for the blue green decks. Prismari commands, decent too. And then there's uh, Killian, very good, uncommon for two mana. And then uh, Inkling Summoning, also pretty high pick, so a lot of options here. Not sure which one I would take. Ooh, nice. Galazeth Prismari. Yeah, I would take a nice 4 mana 3 4 dragon that ramps us. Some other good cards too. Strict Proctor, not especially exciting. There's the Maelstrom Muse, great way to enable some of our expensive instants and sorceries. So I think I would go with that one. I guess never mind, there's Flunk. Didn't see it. Probably gonna go with the efficient 2 mana removal spell that's playable in any black deck and potentially splashable too. Electrolyze, awesome card for Constructed. Uh, also very good and limited. There's Cody, so pack one, pick one. I might be tempted to take Cody and try and draft a deck around it. Just gotta make sure you have enough summonings to make it work. Alright, that was pretty fun. So that's gonna be it for me today. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.